And Jamie, we're going to go back to our social media. Can you see the Lions drafting Case Keenum because of Stafford's injury history? And, you know, their backup situation late is okay. Well, he, yeah, but, he, but you're talking about, you're talking about fifth. I mean, because uh, Hill has done a good job. Uh, I think they're very comfortable with what they have at the quarterback position. And, and I think it goes to more about the other position. Martin's going to take with to hold too true to form. And I think he's got to get out of this a little bit. Martin has done a great job of staying with his board, grabbing the best player available on his board, the highest ranked player he's been doing it. He's going to have to lean towards corner this year. Oh, also, they've got to go and ta- well, but then Linebacker as well. But tackle is also an area where they've got to consider. I think the two priorities and based on their board is where do I get the highest rated tackle uh, or corner? And I think that's there, and, 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 and that'll be the slight departure from what he normally likes to do as far as just taking whoever the best player is on that board. I don't think they have much of a choice because Bacchus at this point, uh, you know, a little long in the tooth. You've got your franchise quarterback. You've been surrounding him with tons of weapons. You've got to have somebody coming off that left side, especially because going back to that question, the question becomes how can this guy survive with the, you know, the, the injury situation and, and his ability to stay healthy with Matthew Stafford. And we were just watching Case Keenan from the University of Houston. Again, prolific numbers, three times going over 5,000 yards, and he really elevated that program into elite status. So he's got the system quarterback tag like the old Brigham Young quarterbacks mm-hmm. used to have and like the Texas Tech quarterback have where they do nothing but throw the ball and put up those huge numbers, but... Maybe, like you said, a late-round pick, someone who could come in, maybe develop into a nice reserve. Every team has to have one. We saw a team like the Bears, since we're talking about them, that got caught without a good backup plan. Well, not only them, the Buffalo Bills, my goodness. Colts, same situation. Colts, oh, my gosh. No backup plan. No backup plan. And that's, uh, you're looking at Robert Griffin III, who right now, he's probably thinking about music or, you know, what what else is going on. Because, you know, it looks like, Looks like he's done. That's a wrap. Day. That's a wrap. 